Good evening, everyone. We're here in the uh, lobby of Hotel Elena in the center of Banja Luka with Sensei Andrei Jasins from Slovenia. He came here to hold a seminar in Japanese traditional martial arts called Nimpu Budo Taijutsu, or as we call it, Ninjutsu. Sensei, can I ask you a few questions? Of course, here I am. All right. Uh, please, can you tell us uh, about your journey for the martial arts? Uh, my journey? I'm a kid of the 80s. In the middle of the 80s, where was the ninja boom on his highest peak. Of course, this reached me as well with those ninja movies. And as a teenager, I simply find it very interesting to be a ninja as well. So in my heart was ninjutsu, and of course, there was no ninjutsu dojo nearby. So I joined the first martial club I, I reached, and this was actually full contact. Uh, interesting. But not uh, didn't really suit me. But uh, as a teenager, what, what did I know about martial arts? I just take a gloves and fight. And uh, after my on my fourth class, I knocked down actually uh, a teacher of that club. So he fired me out. I was 12 years old. Uh, next step was the first local karate dojo. So I was there, and then uh, during my high school. I went to visit, I actually visit, uh, visited other martial arts. I never been very interested in Judo. Uh, I found Aikido very, very nice at that time. I tried uh, several uh, different uh, karate styles, of course, and uh, Jiu Jitsu, traditional Jiu Jitsu, as well as so called traditional Jiu Jitsu, uh, as well as uh, modern Jiu Jitsu. But in my heart was always in so I was looking for me. So I was looking for uh, uh, and dreaming to meet uh, Hatsumi Sensei and his uh, students, which I, I watched on the old videos. And when I got the first time to be able to travel out to the country, I went. Still, after 30 years, I'm still here. More than 30 years, I'm still here. Very nice. Here, uh, how did you find Ninja to? Dojo in the first place. So the dojo? Yeah, so when, when did you start training first? Did you first go to Japan? No, 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 It was not that easy. Uh, I went in Japan first time when I was 27 years old. At that time, for our part of the world, this was a big deal to get money. You have to understand that only to buy a flight ticket to Japan, I had to work three months without eating, drinking three months. Say so I have to put on the side only to buy a flight ticket. And I went for uh, one month and uh, this was a big deal to go to Japan at the time. Um, no, in, in ex Yugoslavia at the time we had a so-called uh, Ninjutsu Union or something like that. The lead by, or, or as, I, as, as I know them now, it was just a karate guys wearing the black belt, uh, black gi. And uh, he's, he's, he's actually everything started. But uh, I was lucky, soon I met uh, Mr. Dejan Rostoha from Croatia. Uh, he was actually the first, my first, uh, I call him my first ninjutsu teacher because he, he really introduced me with, with the correct way of, of ninjutsu. First time I felt uh, this was something obvious. Because uh, I don't know why, but I was very soon in everything that I, I practiced after that, that time. I was very soon uh, very successful, as I told you, on the first class of, uh, as a 12, 12 years old kid, in the four, fourth class, I knocked down the sensei. I uh, had a very, for example, in karate with my, just a yellow belt, I had no problem fighting with those who had a brown belt, for example. Um, in in, in, uh, in jiu-jitsu, I, I had, I, I was very good in everything, I don't know why, maybe because I just practice more than others, right? I don't think that I'm any more talented or anything else, no. Actually, in, in one part, part, part of the time, I also lost interest for martial arts. Uh, and I went to the uh, BMX, I was on the bike. And I was uh, also music, it was a really important part of my, my my teenager time, right? My high school time, and that I played in a in band. Everything was, I, I was searching myself. But somehow martial arts keep in my in my body. So 
after I met uh, Dan Sensei, um, for the first time I felt in his dojo, for the first time I felt, uh, yeah, I found. So he was uh, my first major teacher. Very nice story. Now, next question. Uh, Sensei, we've been visiting Baniluka since May 2001. Can you tell us about your first visit? Ah. <laughs> Long time. Uh, actually, it was uh, a nice and funny story. I met uh, your teacher in seminar in Belgrade, and somehow we introduced ourselves. And I don't know somehow I forgot the full story, but somehow we agreed we would have a seminar in in, uh, in Bosnia. Uh, as I understand, at that time. Uh, People here in in uh, Banja was um, a little bit suspicious about me. They they thought that I'm uh, one of the of many other instructors of that area at that time, and somehow it was like this. Okay, let's go. Uh, what actually touched me was we were late. We were very late because on the border problems we were very late. On the Friday class, and we came maybe 10 o'clock. We uh, reached the, the Baniluka, but the class should already start at 8 o'clock. So we were early. So when we came there, we just put the geese, and every, everyone else was already practicing. And what was uh, what touched me was that there was no talking, they were just practicing. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Zoka's wife, uh, Sensei Suza at the time was leading the class and she was doing the techniques and everybody followed and there was really high tempo of the class. I was impressed. I was impressed. So, mm, good. Um, but then, as I said, when I entered the dojo, we started with, it's usually my way, we, we always started with the Thai Jitsu, kind of Thai Jitsu, and there was already, it was a little bit of, uh, different because they were not used, right? They were not used of my way of, my way, right? the time uh, of, of uh, seminars or classes uh, and it was, uh, it was very interesting. I, I, I always enjoyed it. I, since then I enjoyed Banyuka, otherwise I would not 